It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute for April 4th, 2018. In today's episode, Alibaba and Ford unveil card vending machine. Alibaba and Ford have unveiled a car vending machine in Gunzhou, China. The car facility came about as a result of a partnership signed two years ago between the e-commerce giant and the car maker. The unstaffed digital vending machine is called the Super Test Drive Center and houses dozens of Ford vehicles in the multi-story building. Customers can select the car they wish to drive via the T-Mall app. They then put down a deposit, schedule a pickup time, and snap a selfie so the vending machine can recognize them when picking up the car for the test drive. The process is quick, and Alibaba says it lasts no longer than 10 minutes. The service tops Alibaba's services and provides potential buyers with discounts and incentives based on their usage of the Alibaba ecosystem. The three-day test drives are free as long as customers have a credit score of 700 or above. Autoblog previously reported that Alibaba will build the kiosks across China and that customers could also buy the car outright with a 10% deposit and financing through Alibaba affiliates. As we previously reported, startup Carvana operates similar automated vending machines in the U.S. You can hear our episode on Carvana dated 9-22-17. Just look on iTunes or check the link posted on today's show notes at ecommerceminute.co. C-O. C-O. I just want to come up to one of these and like go, here's my four quarters. Can I have a car? Well, the Carvana one, they give you a big novelty coin that you put in an actual like, like a slot like an old timey coin slot. So they, they, they add some novelty to it, but the, the renderings of these buildings and the ones they, they have already set up for Carvana are really, they're really beautiful. Yeah. I, this build- is kind of interesting. I want to see this like in person, take videos of it. They're building one in Philly in Fishtown. They're, they're purposely putting one in the neighborhood that kind of runs near the interstate so that when you drive by on the interstate, yep. you're going to see the gleaming glass and fluorescent tube, cube filled with beautiful yeah, cars because we need more stuff on that on on the 95 we need more distractions on interstate 95 <laughs> oh construction is just not enough all right so this the course this, the core storage the car storage uh vending that's not really the new thing what is interesting about this is what's going on in china where they're um giving people deals and le- letting them do things based on their credit score it's really kind of creepy well I know. I mean, we have that. Kinda. Uh, that's, don't you think that's weird? Now, what they're doing is they're trying to set up this national database of every person so that if you're a deadbeat or you're a criminal or you've got a credit score that's like, so you've got a really bad credit score, they'll block you from taking a train for a week or a month. Uh, well, like they won't let you do anything. Which, which is I, kind of crazy. It's really weird. Cause then what? <laughs> Cause then what? Then, you know, you're trying to get to work, but you can't get to work because you're, you're trying to make money cause you're a deadbeat, but you're a deadbeat cause you can't get to work. <laughs> it's weird. So they have, um, they, they rank the citizens on a social ranking system and they have, uh, of course, another Alibaba affiliate, affiliate, uh, Ant financial, the credit ranking system is called Zima or Sesame credit. Uh, Zima used to be a delicious drink in the 80s, but now it's, it's out again, by the way. It's out again, I know. Uh, so it's opt-in private credit scoring service. So Alibaba said users with a Zima score below 700 will have to pay a fee. So you're, you're excluding people because they don't have money and charging them more money because they don't have money. It's just a whole, I don't want to get a whole like weird thing about this, but it's just weird. I don't know. There was a black ep- black mirror episode and this is like the weirdest black mirror. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so yeah, that's that's China's version of the Carvana uh automated car thing. And like I said, if you want to hear our episode about Carvana itself, that goes back to September twenty second, twenty seventeen. You can find that on ecommerce minute.co. Anything else, Bart? Uh I guess we're gonna buy everything from a vending machine. Everything's gonna be in a vending machine. There's gonna be nobody left except the vending machines. <laughs> oh god. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>